Yeah, you're only weak to say poison, curse, and neutral paralysis. Act quick. Let's hope. Oh, thank God, God. I keep trying to kill the one over there. You defend, and now we have enough time here to do a charge shot on you. And I hope it kills. I hope it kills. Wasn't enough. We need to kill it with Pierce to get the conditional drop, so. This could be stupid. This could be the height of stupidity. I'm a charge shot. There we go, good. Alright, we got the conditional. More money there secured. Alright, so we want you to go down here, probably. And then we can... Actually, no. This thing can only move two spaces before it is activated, alive, and wants to kill us. Are you serious? <laughs> the fucking scorpion's at the end of the hallway. Bonjour. Well, now you know what the pill bug's for, apparently. He doesn't. Uh, <laughs> oh, if I had more info here, I'd know where to go with this. My one tip right now is, strictly speaking, just to move, or not even tip, but like my idea. One, two. This will cycle around, but we'll get the chance to follow that exact same platform and see what it has. Assuming the sheep is going to be required, so that's why I'm going to take that option. I mean, less combat while I'm dealing with this shit. Alright, I'm on the wrong cycle here. We need to get over here. It's for a fucking treasure chest. And I was wrong about this. There's no uh, wall here. And you need to be killed while panicked, so... Circle. Oh, oh boy.
this is going to go beautifully. Mendona. Nothing can go wrong with this. Revive the front line for us, please. Medic bullet Anna, so she's not going to try and kill our own party. Ow. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what? Just use the nectar. Get her back. again. Fuck. It got... I need to do another chaos circle. Shit. Shit. I don't know why I put down a sweet truck. I'm an idiot. I'm using all my fucking TP. You know what? Just. I was hoping we would get a, that, get a refund on that, but no. I'm gonna say fuck it. and you come across a large box and hey it's a formaldehyde all right now we're now we're working with something here that was worth the detour you guys right now. <laughs> Plus, I now I can get. You know, I should have expected as much. I really should have. It's on me. I did not genuinely just 
in the pit of my stomach thing, this game's not gonna kick me in the dick. But no, 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 I, I really should have. It's on, it's my fault for not thinking the game's gonna do this. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck you too, game. Fool me once, same on you. Fool me twice, same on you. Fool me on a third time, and I'm just fucking dumb. Get up. I'm gonna have to fix shit. Go back to sleep. Yeah, I'm still not gonna wanna fight these things. Yes. Now it can't see me. And thank God they have such narrow vision, uh, vision cones. They literally only have a straight line of perception. to let you know, yeah, there's a Ramalda hider, an item right there that you could get if you didn't miss it. At least you don't move through tell that once, right? I mean, kinda, you're right, but... Alright, they here. cannot see me here, I think. And yeah, this is blocking the, their vision as well. I move full if I move to the left one they will see me though and then I'm gonna be in a bit of a pickle I just guys they don't de-aggro once they see you they love you forever let's get the whole party in here why not if i'm fucked let's just make sure of it all right guys stay in line i can push freely without no action cost Now what? We're working on it. We're building the bridges. We're walking on it. All right, guys. Don't question my genius. Uh. Uh. This way, right? Okay. Worth noting. This is a square right here. Appears, don't you dare. <laughs> Thank God. All right. I told you. I had a plan. We were building the bridge as we walked it, and we did it right. Shortcut. <laughs> Fuck 
Look, there's another shortcut. And a door. here again and this time we have the beast that just wah <laughs> you thought i didn't see you bitch Pad. Yeah, not right now, though. Right now, I am on map. Once I no longer am zoomed in, then I can look around with the pad. Circle pad. While you're in here, though, you can't. It acts as, like, zooming around on the map menu. If I push it, I'm not supposed to. I might break myself. Actually, I can't anyways. Good. I could just make a mad dash for it over there. Still in a corner right there, so now we know all this is green. Get me out of the elevation so they don't see me anymore. the door that's probably the boss right there too actually because it's probably gonna go here dip down this and then the boss's chamber oh that we're gonna go find out there's a whole other floor here Another door right here, and I don't like the looks of that. There's another fucking puzzle right there. I am not dealing with this combo. That thing in the back is just rude. Damn it, this oh, come on. Thank you. Square me. fleet. Square fled. Especially good. they come alive and try to kill us all. Alright. 
Actually, I... Am I missing something here? Because there's no way to even get up. Unless you're supposed to... Oh no, those are... They're the pathway beyond them. They're the loop to chase them, but... I see a tree thing at the end of this one, so I'm gonna go on that assumption. Off by thanks nobody know I'll see you next time man all right that's the way that works so either one would have gotten me this good to know I got it. Actually, not really. idea right now this needs to be put right here and this one goes right here that locks us in place though no actually i think i got it i think i got it we're gonna have to do this out of order i should have done this one first i didn't spot that i didn't even think ahead Exploring, you come across a large box. Loudenum. And... I don't know what that is yet. Except, again, I hate these slugs. And they're like pandemic shit. I guess for me, it's very easy to wrap my head around these mechanics just because it's a, if they give you a loop, I always assume you can get behind them. 
Because you can just sort of ring around the rosies with them and just go behind them. And as soon as you saw the ladder back there, you know you have a way. Slumber bow. An ailment weapon, yeah. A small, strange bow set to inflict drowsiness upon those that strike. Ten attack. Ten magic attack. It's pitiful attack stat. You have it there for the CC, really, entirely. I kind of hope they'd be good, but I don't know yet. I haven't actually, like, seriously tried to use them at all. Not reliable enough. I wonder what the, like, percentage chance of them even activating is. percent 20 percent well either way it sounds low oh i thought i had room here shit I don't know why I thought I did. That's stupid of me. the bug can't be activated. Also, let me get rid of those motion arrows up there. You know, there's going to be an issue. a small issue. We're gonna have to dance. I made a loop. Yep, I did. I'm gonna have several things chasing me here. I just don't know if it's going to go the way I want him or not. He is. All right, good. There we go.
I don't even know how I'm supposed to do it, but you know what? If it works, it works. find that shortcut and we can get out of here. Okay, I'm not going to actually attack this one just because we got an advantage. Everyone's enjoying having counter rate? Oh, I am. <laughs> Getting to go so much farther into this whole thing. Tempted, more than half tempted to just multi strike other into meteor, but binary fire on everyone because I do want to still get conditional drop. I hate that you have to hit them on what they're resistant to. Oh, yeah, our survivor has that. Anyone that has anti-ambush generally puts it on because they know I love that shit so much. Yeah, that's there, there's one skill so far that nobody's wanted to give me as like a character thing. It's just a bigger item bag, and I don't know why. I don't know why you wouldn't want to give me a, better, a bigger item bag. They don't want me to hoard things. That's the thing. They don't want me to hoard more items. While walking atop a, a low wall, you hear a familiar voice. This mural might reveal the treasure's location. Oh, it's him. All right. Different voice entirely. So the tweet that least they could be used. You look below and see Muller and his army carefully examining a, uh, examining a mirror on the wall. These runes must be ancient. Muller continues in, in, intensely inspecting the runes. He seems to be having a hard time deciphering their meaning. Quicken your pace in order to catch up with Muller. I'll get to him when I get to him. Make no quicker off the top of the wall, you then hear a high-pitched voice. Hmm? What's wrong? Can't read the runes? You look down to see Princess Emma and Rika and Art and Wolfgar Jr. standing before Muller and his soldiers. They pridefully look down on him. This is the best Maginian HQ has, huh? Tell you what, if you ask me really nicely, I'm excited at helping you translate them. Muller angrily glares at Enrique in response to her mocking tone. Art and Wolfgar Jr. tell Enrique not to provoke him. Art is incredibly tense. Best interview before things get out of hand. I know it's over there. 
Oh, one sec. I don't know why I thought that was the exit exit. I was almost out of threads too. Shit. Alright, two threads. Alright, they're the war that might start brewing, but you know what? They can wait until the morning, right? Technically, they say we can we can report our map, but it's not done. This spot and this spot needs to be filled out. Grab the wolf of the blanket line. Maybe later. Oh, I did. You're gonna make me double check, though. Yep. Two threads and a scope, or whatever this boss is gonna be. It's not many steps away, but I love that no encounter rate. Damn it, stop autopiloting me, game. As you descend the vine into the great hall, you find Muller shouting and brandishing his sword. Oy. These ruins are of no importance to us. We only need the treasure. Decode them all you want. I, General Muller, will see to it that the treasure is ours. Where could he be? He stands out as he heads him. Where could he be? He stands out as he heads further into the Great Hall. The soldiers follow his lead. Then you notice a strange fog-like substance being spread throughout the room. What's this? The soldiers are surprised at first, then suddenly keel over in agony. Poison. Art. At the Seafair Prince's orders, Art nods and begins using her healing powers to help Muller and his soldiers. Spare us the act of charity. We have no intention of being helped by the Seafarers. Muller shouts at Art in an attempt to refuse her help. You sure are stubborn. Enrica sighs, then mutters to herself as if she's remembering something. What she said. Hearing this, Art strengthens her healing powers. Thanks to Art's uh, Art Mullers and his sol uh, thanks to Art Muller and his soldiers begin to get back on their feet. But in that moment, a giant shadow blankets the area. And a never before seen monster lands amongst the suffering soldiers. The shocker from the impact knocks everyone to the ground. At this rate, the lives of everyone here are in danger. Draw your weapons and go forth. You're the only ones who can save them.
Now, based on that previous um, uh, thing, he might deal an ailment damage. And if he is, we just fucked. No need to break the, start the plan, though. I have a scope. We have a scope. We will use the scope. Alright, we'll strike other. Swerve's gonna set down the first circle. I'm gonna make it chaos on the off chance. And Apollo, I hope you live to use this. Oh boy. Literally one. Hailstorm, thunderstorm, pierce. And then gnarly arm. If you use a thunder, why would I guess that it's weak to thunder and it's resistant to panic? Okay, we made a bad choice on that one. can already tell from this. When it says gnarly arm, we gotta make sure we bind its legs. That's the one way we gotta do this. Let's get this mess heal going so we get some amount of healing here. Don't do that just yet. Mm. I'm scared of someone going down before I can get to them. dead. I need to put in a new circle because man, it's going to do nothing. So you got a nectar. Alright, arms were sealed. Arms and legs are sealed. We now have no accuracy check when trying to fight this thing. I'm 
And unfortunately, that got rid of your force. That got rid of your stack. It's just awful. We have one more thing we can do here. So I'm going to do a heal just in case. And maybe we can do an act first or act quick and actually get started on some damage from you. Hold up. We got to sleep. Good. If I do home splitter, we're going to have to, we're going to have to change it out of the way. So home splitter will be good. Just keep trying to concussion, I guess. You're going to meteor as soon as it's your turn. If you the binds cast right until next turn. Ah, all right. Yeah, we could try that. Queue it up for next time. Yeah, if you have a dead turn, that's fine. I think seeds is like better if you already have something binded. But I have not much else I can do right now, so. We have act quick already on Apollo, so that's fine, Demon Eradicate. I can use that to do a charge volt. Caution works better. Alright. Back to the original plan, then. Because, yeah, it's still weak to electricity most. If only that, if only you were to fire, then we would have had level five on it. Should have actually used force on her. Damn. Alright. State changes to what? I didn't read what that said. Hold on. Arms. Yeah, it's no longer got the arm one, so we need to keep on going for that. Multi strike ever. Keep hoping that something lands here. Let's go for act quick. Technically, we could also chrono Gatlin, but I don't think that's good damage, right? We could also try an arm snipe. Try an arm snipe. I wanted to not have its arms available. Still like a charge? Alright. Let's go for this then. was healed, alright? It went to sleep! Alright, now Helm Splitter. Now we want to bind it again. Right, 
with that meteor. Now with this, Eliza should go first, I believe. Charge Volt, it's just gonna hit. That was a lot. Holy shit. It's fine, honestly. Going back to self-healing mode. Yeah, we can do the Meteor combo one more time. We can multi-charge Strike Ether into Meteor one more time. I'm going to refresh the Sleep Circle. It's about to go out here soon. And we have one more here. Act we can stun it. There we go. She's not subbed to the hero, she's subbed to the shogun. This is the last meter you can do. Let's get an Amrita on you. Yeah, we need to go for the arm bind here as much as we can. Oh boy. you in your self-healing mode. I can't break her now. So we got a breath to heal that. It won't attack us, but we don't want it to heal much more. Keep trying to arm snipe it. Come on. Alright. We got it. We need a lot of damage right now. Yep, raise the attack for this turn. One, two points is the best damage, sadly. Then we gotta go for it. Alright, Meteor. We have, unfortunately, no more TP restoring items. Anna is now tapped. I'm more than tempted to quake just to make sure it doesn't do anything this turn at all, to bind or otherwise. Because we're not getting asleep, it seems. Yeah, probably. 
can we do that? Not really. But I'm scared it's going to go into self-healing mode and then just heal itself up here. That's what I'm going, I'm thinking about right now. Charge Volt and hope it does not hit you. All I can really hope for, I think. Unless... If I do that, I'm scared it's going to hit Apollo with, like, say, Pierce. And then she's dead. That's my fear right there. I'm gonna put my trust in it. Could do act quick? You're right. I should, actually. <laughs> Come on, give me a sleep. Oh, you would. You fucking would. We have a medic bullet, at least to make sure that Axel doesn't do anything stupid, but Anna's left to the races. <laughs> if the armbind drops, we can't get it. We're also out of TP, so it's just us now. Yeah, we wasted the act quick with the medic bullet, unfortunately, but that's all I can do. And I think Flame gr uh, Grader is my highest attacking thing right now. We did not get TP recovered from Ronin, right? I did. We just gotta go for Volt and hope. I'm gonna dismiss Quake to get us a free turn here, I think. I missed it. Shit. <laughs> the arm still binded? It is. We have a chance. Let me put down a new circle and then I could do something for damage as well. But actually, I don't think I have time for that. Just attack. Charge, hope for the best. Got it. Got the gnarly arm. Whatever that is for. Red Moon Guild. Enrique approaches your guild as Anna sheaths their weapon. Anna sheaths the stick that she uses after bonking the two the two party members she could in a state of panic right at the end there. Job well done. Mm. Are you okay? That monster looked dangerous. <laughs> After she just saw us beating the guild leader and <laughs> Apollo. You give Enrique an assured nod, then look around to see how the others are holding up. That was close. I thought the arm bind was gonna break off in a moment or two, and I was so scared of that. The looks of things, everyone has some minor scrapes or, and bruises, but nothing life threatening. We were saved by the Red Moon Guild. Art murmurs to, uh, this to herself. 
<laughs> They're Virginia's finest adventurers. Good work, Red Moon Guild. Muller boasts of your success. So, ne. Yes, good work. Next to them, we all pull through. Upon seeing Enrica offer her thanks, Muller gets off his feet and speaks up. Um, Princess Enrica, I'd like to say thank you for your assistance uh, you provided earlier. I don't intend to allow you to take the treasure, but we have been acting a little childish. Enrique accepts Muller's apology with a smile. We don't intend to let you take the treasure either. Still, apology accepted. Muller and Enrique's conversation lowers some of the tension between the seafarers and the Maginian soldiers. What's really here in these ruins? I've heard there's... They house a clue to finding Lemuria's treasure. I believe it's here in these ruins. They very clearly speak of Lemuria's secret, uh, secret treasure. What do they mean when they say Lemuria's treasure grants eternal prosperity? Eternal prosperity. In ancient times, Lemuria produced a great, uh, uh, produced a great power. The treasure was named Jormungandr, and it was created by taking energy from Yggdrasil. It has also been called the World Serpent. It made snakes. Jormungandr. Yes, according to the lore, Lemuria was only known to prosper because it was protected by the World Serpent. It states that Yarmagandr sleeps deep below the center of the island, beneath Yggdrasil. I see. So, whoever made it to Yggdrasil first will be able to lay claim to this Yarmagandr. Enrica nods at his words. Regardless of who gets there first, let's have no hard feelings between us and no battles until then. We'll make it a, ra a real race. Prosperity to whichever side reaches it first. Sound good, Red Moon Guild? I love how she addresses us and not the actual commander. Enrica has proposed a challenge. <laughs> Sounds easy enough. Nah, sounds like an adventure, and that's what we're here for. Enrica smiled at your answer. That settles it, then. No fighting until one of us obtains the treasure. After that, bloodshed for all. We'll regroup with the sailors in the shrine and head back to our base. With that, Enrica and Art take their leave. Muller also states that he intends to round up his soldiers and return home. I want you to investigate what's beyond here and report your findings to HQ thereafter. Muller and the soldiers and the head out. You decide to follow orders and proceed deeper into the ruins. All right, map out this area. familiar voice as you approach the door. The unknown girl's voice resonates thro uh, throughout, then disappears completely. With her words fresh in your mind, you move on to the next room. All right, then. <gasps> it's a glowing light pillar. Upon passing through the door, once you once again find yourself beneath a vibrant pillar of light. This must be another geomagnetic pole. Touching it should send you to a new island. Mm. But also, I'm going to say, what did we mark it with before? I, 
I think, oh, it made its own mark, right, because I didn't put that down. Touch the floating light. You touch the geomagnetic pole, and in an instant, you find yourself standing somewhere new. As you rejoice to your accomplishment, you notice a strange figure stand, uh, staring at you from the shadows of the tree. It seems to have caught, your, caught you staring back and vanishes from sight. It's disappeared um, uh, in the direction of what appears to be a large cave. Golden Lair can now be visited. And this fucker keeps on popping in and out and just like nobody noticed him. Nobody really talks to him aside us and be like, you're doing this, have this, you're doing this, interesting, you're doing this, you're going to need this. And then he can come to the commentary. When will it point out that he's actually Adele from Disgaea 2 and just fucking around in, the, in different universes? You wish you could map it before swapping teams, or you could make a new team and head there in the middle of the next dungeon. Your choice. I might. Or the East protagonist? I actually never played with those games, so I'm not sure who that one is. You recognize the voice, Suma, and turn to find Blot. It seems he also came here via the geomagnetic pole. We literally just discovered it. And we're the first to touch it. And then you're like, next in line after nobody else is in the room. Blot then sets them out through the plane. Through the planes. It seems both a miss both a new mystery and a new threat have revealed themselves. You find Blot's words concerning as well. You should report back to Virginia. Then begin your expression of this new island with caution, or new land with caution. First, Sate. new shit, let's go! Red Moon Guild, Master Muller wishes to speak with you back to the headquarters immediately. With this message delivered, the soldiers runs off. It might something have happened? Hold up. Immediately probably means tomorrow anyways. We're fine. 31,000. What? Futsu... Uh, Futsu no Mitama. Steel bug piercer. That's a lot of... For I don't really know which uh, classes those are, but it's just a dagger. Any knife user is best in slot weapon now. 180 and why do they give more magic attack? I don't understand that. <laughs> Melee stab that pierces enemy lines. Lowers hit rate for three turns. It is good. And this gives rest. Restore users HP. Just a two TP cost, you can heal yourself. Again, not bad. <laughs> Alright, we'll go to the 
We'll go there tomorrow. New team today or next week? I don't think we have the time for today. But also the problem is I would want to... Mm. That's the problem. I don't think we have the time to build a new team right now. You know how long it takes for us to build teams. That's like what? At least an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah, we're gonna have to decide the new the new members next time. I thought we'd be able to do it this today if we got past some stuff early, but no. Thursday's AI, right? Yeah, tomorrow is AI Somnium Files. We'll need a good team, apparently. But I have no clue what is good or not anymore. Whatever team we have, it's gonna be at the average level of what our current team is. 63, 62, 62, 62, 62. We're going to be making our new team members level 62 at the start, and that's how they're going to begin their journey. And that's partly why I did not want to reset you, Solar. Because if, if you got reset down, you'd be level 60, and the average would have been brought down a little bit. Yep, Golden Layer is next. Yeah, they already told us the name of it. Yeah, if I have to guess right now. I hate the gold lantern case wasn't obvious. Yeah. And the extra engine as well. No clue how bad it is, but we'll figure that out next time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time. As we were just saying, next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to come back to Etrian Odyssey and we're going to make a new team. I am still up in the air if we actually want to do the other dungeon we saw first or do this one or the new one coming up and then in the middle of detour because apparently it's minimum level or recommended level is a bit higher. Who knows? But if anything, we might manage to make a new team to do both of them, if I'm being honest. So stay awesome. Hopefully, you'll let me you one more time, another time. See ya.